Hi everyone, this is William here from Top Flight Tech. Today I'm going to introduce our second generation 4G hardwire tracker TRW2 BL series. I'll talk about their improvements comparing to the first generation TRW1, the main features, use cases, and there will be an uh, unboxing and installation session. Now let's get started. The main improvement on this generation is that, firstly, it supports 4G LTE and global band with 2G fallback. So it's a global version. It works on any country that supports 4G CAT M1 and 2G network, regardless of the band. And secondly, the 6 axis accelerometer for more accurate driving behavior detection. Differentiating from the 3 axis one that you normally see in the market and uh, a BLE in this one has been upgraded to 5.0 which supports a wider transmission range and has a lower power consumption and our, the new model we're using is designed with the latest technology that will have a lower power consumption in general and this tracker supports a wider range of external power voltage from DC 7 to 6P volt and the, these are the advantages when installing on motorcycles and hybrid cars. It also kept the features from the previous generation uh, such as the real-time and history location, the emission detection by wiring and vibration, and there are multiple inputs and outputs, and there are photo for firmware upgrades. So we have three models in this series. We have the 2BL with two wires, we have the 6BL with six wires, and we have the 12BL with 12 wires. And these two have more inputs and outputs, mainly digital inputs, uh, analog inputs, and digital outputs. And this one, 2BL, is our basic uh, insurance tracker with only the power and the ground wire. They can be installed on vehicles or any assets that with constant power supply such as uh, it's commonly used on trucks, on cars, on vans and even construction and agricultural facilities that uh, have constant power supply. In the unboxing you will see the device itself, some extension wires and a tape to help you stabilize. So when you first receive the tracker, for setting up, you want to power it up with the extension wires connecting the red and the black wire to power and ground. And when it's connected, you see the LED indicators are flashing. We have the GNSS signal and we have the network signal indicators. When they are flashing, it means they are searching for the signal and when they are solid on, it means they have already gained the signal. And the second step is to connect the tracker with the micro USB cable to a computer. Open up our config tool and then set up the APN, IP and port. After that, you can insert a SIM card according to the direction marked here. Close the lid and then the tracker will be reporting to the server that you just set. And the next step would be the deployment. It's ready to use. You just need to connect the power and the ground wire onto the actual vehicle and then stabilize it under the dashboard with this double-sided tape.
because they are all featured with BLE, so they can work with our BLE temperature and humidity sensor, our door and temperature sensor, and our wireless immobilizer. Thanks for watching this video. If you like our videos, please uh, subscribe and stay tuned. We have a lot more exciting models coming out by the end of this year. Thank you.